Hello, it's Shir. Thanks for popping by. I did this the other day with a brayer and um, and I just love the movements and um, very gestural and so I just thought I'd have another shot at it and and then put a background uh, uh, put a, uh, a color over the top and then then uh, lift it off and see how we go so this is just on the deli paper or sandwich paper or wherever you are in the world so I'm just going to load the brayer up and even though it's hot here it's autumn but it's still so jolly hot actually it's humid and um, so we'll see how it dries but I'll see if I can manage to pause hit the pause button rather than turn it off as I seem to keep doing but um, my little Bluetooth switch is a um, one of those selfies so it automatically turns off after 45 seconds it drives me crackers so I can't use it um, so I prime this up it's only a small one it's only about a two two inch what is it a few centimeters and um, and I'm just going to do the swirl so no plan other than swirl swirl and then we'll let this dry I've got this little pastry brush here just to add a bit of texture in there okay right well I'll let that dry and then I'm going to put some turquoise over the top of that and pull it but um, so we'll I'll be back in a moment okay Well, we'll get going again. <laughs> Gosh, stand up, sit down. The humidity here is just um, it's exhausting. It's just dripping. So I had intended doing this in this um, in this, but I think I've changed my mind. I'm actually going to do it in a antique white. No rhyme, no reason, other than I quite like this. So. I'll just give it a little I should have perhaps used a larger brayer a lot of my paints my um, and tools I actually buy from Riot Art because they, um, I'm out in the sticks. I don't have a post office post box, so um, everything goes to a bit of box. And where I live, there's only a rural population of 95. We do boast a town hall, which I've probably told you before. And yes, but for most part of my life, I actually make pots. I'm very smug with myself because I made some big pasta dishes for a fundraiser the last couple of days. So I've made 22 big pasta dishes for, for the soup kitchen in Margaret River raising funds. So a bit of um, deli paper or sandwich paper or on the top. See it shrinks up straight away because of the moisture and we'll just see how this pulls yes 
I quite like that. The swirl is not as pronounced as I would like it to be, but I quite like that. It's appealing. It's got that lovely line, that gesture line, which I quite like. So I'll put that there. And we'll just see if we can put a bit of gold on there and get a bit of a whatever's left over. Not too much. Tendency to be a bit heavy handed. This gold paint as well is a Semco and I just dispense it into the smaller squeezy bottles just for easier management. So, we'll see how that goes. And I don't keep putting well, I do actually put a lot of um, texture on top of texture on top of texture, but I, I just like to put some bases down and um, and enjoy what what comes off next rather than keep piling them up and up and up. I just try and get rid of a few creases. Very much there, is it? So I might put a few little masks or something on there, or I might put some with a stencil and put something on there. Okay, well, I'm going to clean that up, and um, I don't think I want any more of that. Oh, look now, what the heck! Just can't help myself. I know. It's the age, you know. I started making an altered book, another altered book, and using some of the gel prints. And, and of course these, these size, I get sort of, the, uh, they're about this wide, so I get about three out of one to put them as a base page in the book, so I'm sort of collaging it, and, but rather than just sticking the whole pages down together, alternate pages for those who, um, who make the altered books, you know, you tear out seven, leave two, tear out seven, leave two, and then you glue those two together. But instead of um, doing a really quite a bit of glue, I've actually stitched on one side. So it looks, um, it looks interesting. Look at that, who would have thought there's so much black left on there? worth the print. So you can still see that sweeping line from that, which is really barely visible when you sort of look at it, to the gold which has almost disappeared. But I will put some more, I will put black on top of that and I'll use some masks and I'll put some on from there. I think that's worthy of a, a little bit more work. So, that's my little play, and um, <coughs> I'll clean up and we'll do something else. Thanks for popping by. Take care. Bye.